after the first two episodes of WandaVision dropped on Disney+. Fans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe immediately set to work, picking apart every little detail of the classic TV-inspired pseudo-sitcom. There are lots of people, places, and even objects that potentially hint at how WandaVision could change Marvel's TV universe going forward. Take Westview community leader Dottie. Dottie, like many of the residents of Westview, is already beginning to see through the cracks in WandaVision's world. As she and Wanda clean up after a town planning event, she makes it clear that she has heard things about Wanda and Vision and, moreover, doesn't trust them. More than that, when a mysterious voice calling Wanda's name is heard coming through the static of a nearby radio, both Wanda and Dottie are able to hear it. It's obvious that there's more to Westview and Dottie than meets the eye, and the actor who plays her likely seems more than a bit familiar. Nothing like what you two just did up here has ever happened in the history of our talent show. Her name is Emma Caulfield Ford, and this is far from her first foray into the world of science fiction and fantasy. Perhaps you've seen her in Fear the Walking Dead, Supergirl, Once Upon a Time, or another of her dozens of TV appearances over the years. But chances are, you know her from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. In Season 3 of Buffy, Cordelia Chase wishes that Buffy Summers had never come to Sunnydale, thus creating an alternate universe ruled by the Master and overrun by his Creatures of the Night in one of the most iconic episodes of the show. The scary, veiny, good fairy who made Cordy's wish come true? Why, that would be none other than Emma Caulfield Ford, known at the time as just Emma Caulfield, as the vengeance demon Anya. It wouldn't be until the fourth season of Buffy that Anya would be slotted in as a series regular, but it didn't take long before fans realized the character would become far more than Cordelia's replacement after she absconded to Los Angeles with Angel. Anya was a fresh, snarky take on the inhuman being must learn to be human trope. After centuries of helping scorned women take extreme revenge on the men who spurned them, Anya becomes friends with Buffy and the gang while also falling in love with Xander Harris. The romance between Anya and Xander is a huge part of the Buffy story and very nearly leads to marriage. Of course, it wouldn't be Buffy if true love didn't lead to misery, so we get to see Anya cope with being a vengeance demon all over again, making her one of the most complex characters in Buffy's seven-season history. The same year that Buffy the Vampire Slayer concluded its seven-season run, Emma Caulfield Ford was already starring in a horror movie with a concept that actually feels like it could have come straight out of an episode of Buffy, Darkness Falls. Darkness Falls is both the name of the 2003 film and the town in which the story is set, raising the question, who would choose to live in a town named Darkness Falls? The answer, as you might have guessed, is Emma Caulfield Ford playing Caitlin Green. In A Nightmare on Elm Street, Wes Craven found success redefining the Sandman as a knife-fingered monster who kills you in your dreams named Freddy Krueger. Darkness Falls performs a similar trick, but this time it's the Tooth Fairy getting a murderous makeover. Just like the parents from Elm Street killed Krueger, the parents of Darkness Falls kill Matilda Dixon, aka the Tooth Fairy. The difference is that Matilda Dixon was innocent of the crimes she was accused of. The result is the same. The Tooth Fairy becomes a vengeful spirit and returns to do some killing. Considering Caulfield Ford just rapped playing a vengeance demon on Buffy, she naturally was the perfect person to fight an evil Tooth Fairy. Two years before Black Mirror existed in any form, Emma Caulfield Ford starred as Una O'Leary in 2009's Timer, a movie with a very similar premise to the Black Mirror episode Hang the DJ. In the future, most people accept who their soulmate will be via a high-tech dating app. The app in Timer is a device installed in the wrist that counts down to when a person will meet their soulmate. But Una's clock is not counting down. Does she have no soulmate? Is her soulmate dead? Or has her soulmate simply not gotten their own device installed? Timer is a classic science fiction exploration of free will versus destiny, set through the lens of a romantic comedy. 
Plus, there are two interesting things about Timer as it pertains to WandaVision. The first is that there seems to be a question of whether or not the residents of Westview are there of their own free will or not. Even more interesting, however, is that Jack Schaefer, who wrote and directed Timer, is also the showrunner for WandaVision. So, if there's any role from Caulfield Ford's past that's relevant to WandaVision, it's definitely Una from Timer. Now you can clap. <laughs> and stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about the MCU are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.